welcome to a Saturday afternoon special provided to you by the youth program here at WCTV. I'm Holly Boyko, um, and I'll be hosting the show with um, my assistant, Amanda, for the day. Um, believe it or not, winter is here. You wouldn't think so because it's really warm outside and raining. But depending on who you're talking to, you might run into someone who is wishing for the snow to arrive. Well, if you're one of those people, then you're lucky because today, in our studio, we're making snow just for you. Amanda, what have you got for us today? And I'm Amanda, and I have some great friends with me here today, and we're going to help make snowflakes. So first, I'm going to have them introduce themselves. We have... Kara. Lizzie. Shreya. Melissa. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to make a snowflake. So the first step is just to fold your paper into a square. Just like that. Then we're going to cut the bottom part off so you're left with a triangle. All right, so now we have a triangle, and we're going to fold that triangle in half. And then, now that we have a smaller triangle, we're going to fold that triangle in half again. Now, your triangle is ready to cut. So you can start anywhere you like, and you can just cut right into your snowflake. You can make any kind of cuts that you want. You can make any shape you want. You can cut out hearts. You can cut out circles. You can cut out squares, ovals, pretty much any shape that you like, any shape that you want. And we just cut right here. I'm going to cut a couple triangles. See how that goes. Cut a circle out of here. And there we go. Let's see. And we'll cut a square out of this side. And one more triangle. And then we get to open it up and see what our snowflake looks like. There we are. And you can see this is a final product of a snowflake that you can make. One of the best things about these kind of snowflakes is that they're all different. So all of us could all make a snowflake and every single snowflake would all be different from one another. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let each of the girls make their own snowflake. Here's a piece of paper for each of you. There we go. And I'm going to make another one too. So the first step is just to fold your paper in half. And to make it a square. And then just to cut the bottom off. So we don't have a lot of scissors, so we're just going to have to share. Thank you. All right. So after we've cut the bottom off, you're going to fold in half again. And then in half again. And then you're going to just start cutting. Here's a pair of scissors. So Melissa, what do you think about this weather? Are you excited there's no snow, or do you want snow to come? I kind of want snow, because I signed up for a skiing club, and it hasn't snowed yet, so I can't go. Oh, that kind of stinks. So I bet the skiing places are really upset that it's not snowing. What about you, Lizzie? Do you like the snow? Yeah. Yeah? I got snowshoes for Christmas. Oh, so you're waiting to try them out. Very cool. My aunt got snowshoes for Christmas, too. Mine are hot pink. Ooh, very nice. My favorite color. Very cool. So what kind of shapes are you cutting out over there, Kara? Ovals and circles. Ovals and circles. Very cool. I love these snowflakes because you can sort of cut out whatever shape you want, and it always looks kind of different once you open it up you can see what all the little tiny shapes they all come together and they all make a really cool snowflake you can hang them up wherever think snow right what about you Shreya what kind of shapes are you cutting out I'm cutting out a heart right now oh cool that'll look nice very cool and what about you Lizzie what kind of shapes are you cutting out just random shapes that's the best way to do it just cut out random shapes you ready to open yours up? All right, let's pass Melissa the scissors. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> All right, Lizzie, go ahead. You can open yours up and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks cool. You like it? Yeah. What's your favorite part about it? 
the flower in the middle. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Hold it up again so everybody can see it. That looks cool. It's got a nice flower in the middle of it and some nice shapes around the edge too. Very cool. You ready to open yours up, Kara? All right, let's see it. Ooh, that looks cool. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, what's your favorite part about it? Um, Probably the heart on the side, like the sides. Oh yeah, those look cool. I didn't even notice those at first. Very nice. I like it a lot. You ready to open up, Shreya? Yep. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, I like that. I like that your little designs right there. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. You happy how it came out? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part? Um, probably the little fringes right there. Yeah, those are cool. I like that. She just cut fringes right in hers. She didn't cut out a whole piece. But when you look up close, you can see there's little slats in it. It looks really cool. Very nice. Yes. All right, Melissa, are you ready? Oh, that one looks very nice, too. Do you like it? You happy how it came out? Yep. Yeah, what's your favorite part? I like the hearts. Going Those around. do look cool. I like the hearts on the snowflakes. They look really nice. All right, why doesn't everybody hold their snowflakes up so everybody can see how they looked? Maybe you guys can try it out yourself. And look, I think I see Holly even made her own snowflake over there, too. That one looks cool as well. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. I don't even have scissors. <laughs> That's very impressive then. You, you did a really good job. I'm surprised with no scissors. It's a good snowflake. So hopefully everybody can try to make their own snowflake at home. And everybody's will be uh, their very own personal snowflakes. Back to you, Holly. Thanks, guys. That was great. I have my snowflake here, which you guys were watching me. <laughs> Or the thing, and it's magnificent. It's sharp, kind of, so you got to be careful of some of these snowflakes. But I didn't even have any scissors, and I made one, so if I can do it, you can. So, we're going to go to our next segment now, and I'm going to be calling out a few people from. We have a lot of kids here today, as we usually do for our live shows. I'm going to be looking for Kaylee Bernardo, Lizzie Hill, and Jamie Busby. Um, they're going to be coming out, and they're going to be playing a little game with me. So, they're going to join me. And we're going to play a little game called Snow Bowl Trivia. Come on out, guys. Don't be shy. The kids are out there eating all the food. Lizzie Hills coming on out. And Kaylee Bernardo. Grab your mics, guys. It's OK. You don't need to run. <laughs> all right. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I said your name, but we need to put a name to the face. I'm Jamie Busby. I'm Lizzie Hill. I'm Kaylee Bernardo. All right, guys, you guys are going to be playing Snowball Trivia with me. Um, <laughs> you're each going to get one of these. You each have, I'm going to give you each a snow catcher. Very handy if you want to catch snow. <laughs> this is our snow. All right, I've got some nice snow right here. Nobody else has snow, but I do. And each of you has your snow catcher, and I'm going to ask several questions, 15 to be exact. Um, and when it's your turn, you're going to try to answer, OK? If you get the answer correct, I'm going to give you a snowball, and you're going to put it in your snow catcher. And if you get it wrong, and you have any snowballs, you're going to have to give it to another person. So say Kaylee gets her answer wrong. She'll have to choose either Lizzie or Jamie to give her snowball to. And if you don't have one, I'll give them one. Um, that way, that gives them a better chance of winning, and you get less snowballs. And whoever has the most at the end wins. All right, so does everybody understand the rules? Yep. Yes. Yep. OK. Pull my snow down here. We'll start with the questions. We're going to pick these in random order. There's no certain order. I just dropped a bunch of them. <laughs> Anyways, um, OK, so we'll start with you, Jamie. All right, first question is a Harry Potter 2 question. I don't know if you've watched Harry Potter 2. But in the movie, Harry Potter 2, and this will be multiple choice, so wait until I give you all the answers. How do you make Fluffy, the three-headed dog, fall asleep? Do you tickle his nose? Do you rub his belly, or do you play him music? Play him music. That's right. Great job. Thank you. 
I wouldn't yeah. have known that if I hadn't written it myself. <laughs> There's that. Okay. Now we move on to Lizzie. Lizzie. This is a SpongeBob question and it comes from funtrivia.com. What is the name of the restaurant that Plankton owns in SpongeBob SquarePants? That's hard to the say. Chum Bucket. Hold on, wait until I give you the answers. The Cuddly Crab, <laughs> the Crusty Crab, or the Chum Pail? Maybe it's not, maybe I messed up this it's question. Not chum pail. It's it the is Chum, chum Bucket. bucket. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, Holly. She got it right. You know, I thought it was the Crusty Crab, and that's why I'm there. Just shows that kids can know more than adults sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you know what happened is that was a multiple choice question. I guessed it and I was wrong. So, anyways, next question goes to Kaylee. Kaylee, this is a science question. Oh, geez. What do we call the scientific study of genes? Is it genealogy? Is it genetics? Or is it geology? Genetics. Very good. You get a snowball. Pass that down. I can't reach all of you, so <laughs> we're going to hand each other snowballs. All right, next question. We're back to Jamie. All right, this is for Martin Luther King Day. Um, and you may not know this, but give it a try. What was the title of the first book written by Mr. Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Was it I Have a Dream, Strength to Love, A Book of Sermons, Stride Toward Freedom, The Montgomery Story, or We Shall Overcome. And you can say like the first, second, third, or fourth one. Okay. Um, <laughs> the first one? Nope. It was Stride Toward Freedom, The Montgomery Story. That was a good guess. Okay. So you have to give one of your snowballs to either Kaylee or Lizzie. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Next question another Martin Luther King question. Where did Martin Luther King deliver his I Have a Dream speech? And this is from Quizland.com. Was it at the Lincoln Memorial, in front of the Memphis Courthouse, or in front of the Atlanta City Hall? In front of the Atlanta City Hall? No, it was the Lincoln Memorial. Close though. You gotta give one of your snowballs away. Thank you. All right. Kaylee. Hi. <laughs> which of the following scientists, obviously a science question, mm -hmm. studies animals? And this is from sciencespot.net. Okay. Is it a botanist, a zoologist, or a geologist? Zoologist. Very good. You get a snowball. I toss it to you, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys are doing great so far. Next question. Back to Jamie. Who was the oldest elected president? This is from applesfortheteacher.com. Was it George Washington, Ronald Reagan, Thomas Jefferson, or Woodrow Wilson? George Washington? No, he was pretty old looking though. It was Ronald Reagan. He was the oldest elected president at age 69, and he was the 40th president. So you gotta give away one of your snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question to Lizzie. Which of these is the world's oldest royal family? The Oba royal family, the British royal family, the, or the Japanese royal family? The British royal family? No, it was the Japanese. The Japanese royal family has produced a long line of 125 reigning emperors over a period of, thousand, of, a thousand, of thousands of years. That's a long time. So long I almost didn't believe it. You've got to give away one of your snowballs. Okay. Next question goes to Kaylee. What explorer started but did not himself complete the first around-the-world expedition by ship? Was it Christopher Columbus? Cheng Ho, Vasco da Gama, or Ferdinand Magellan? This is hard. Mm. And if I get this wrong, I have to give all of my, all of my snowballs no, away? No, just one. Oh, just one? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm going to take a stab and say B. 
Nope, not Chang Ho. It was Ferdinand Magellan. That one I actually knew. The first round the world trip was made by sailors aboard the ship Victoria, part of a Portuguese explorer, Ferdinand Magellan's fleet. In 1519, he sailed eastward from Europe, but was killed during a fight in the Philippines. Most of his crew died too, from hunger or disease. A few survivors, led by sea captain Sebastian Elcano, managed to complete Magellan's planned voyage and returned home to Europe, weak but triumphant, in 1522. That was a long time ago. But that's the answer. That did was you, a hard did one. you give your snowball? Yeah, snow? I gave it to Lizzie. Okay. Make sure you're giving out those snowballs. Watching. All right. Jamie, this one's kind of a hard one. Who or what were the three sisters in North America? Were they corn, squash, and beans? Fir, spruce, and pine? Layla, Janet, and Jennifer? Or blue, red, and white? Three. Layla, Janet, and Jennifer? No. That was the tricky one, because you'd think three sisters, three girls. Nope. It was corn, squash, and beans. Beans, corn, and squash were three essential crops that Native American farmers could grow anywhere. The gods of these crops were almost always considered to be female, thus called the three sisters. <laughs> giving you guys a little information, too. Okay, next question. Who were the first Europeans to settle in the land known as the United States? That's us. Portuguese traders, English pilgrims, Spanish colonists, or French fur traders? Do you want the answers again? Yeah. Okay. Portuguese traders, English pilgrims, Spanish colonists, or French fur traders? French fur traders? Nope. <laughs> you guys are on a slow street. That's okay. Spanish colonists settled in present-day Florida and California in 1540. English settlement began in Chesapeake Bay in 1607 and Massachusetts in 1620. Close. Give away your snowball. <laughs> All right, we only have a few more. I don't know who's in the lead. Okay, guys, this one's pretty interesting. What city was the first in the world to use traffic lights? That's my question, right? Yes. Was it Chicago, Illinois, New York, New York, London, England, or San Francisco, California? New York? Nope. No! London, England was the first city to use traffic lights Gosh, darn it. in 1868. That's a long time ago. I was going to go with Chicago. I'm not even going to start. These lights were invented by J.P. Knight and were near the House of Commons at the intersection of Bridge Street and George Street, wherever that may be in London, England. That was hard again. These are difficult, but they're helping you gain knowledge. All right. This one I'm doing for our friend Joe, who is here, because it's a sport question, but Jamie has to answer it. Okay. What National Football League was the first to complete an entire season undefeated. Was it the Miami Dolphins, the Pittsburgh Steelers, oh, I'm sorry, the Miami Dolphins in 1972, the Pittsburgh Steelers in 1976, the Chicago Bears in 1985, or the Dallas Cowboys in 1971? So that's either the Dolphins, the Steelers, the Bears, or the Cowboys. The Dolphins? Yeah. You got it. Is that just a <laughs> guess, Jamie? In yeah. 1972, wow. the Miami Dolphins, led by head coach John Don Shula and fullback Larry Sonaka, Zonka, Zonka, we got it, <laughs> were the first NFL team to complete an entire season undefeated. The 72 Dolphins went 17-0 and while being led by replacement quarterback Earl Mor Morrill, Morrill and <laughs> defeated the Washington Redskins 14-7 to in Super Bowl VII. The starting quarterback, Bob Grease, Grice, returned for Super Bowl VII. Not a big football fan, but go Patriots. Going to be watching them tomorrow. So you get a snowball. Thank you. From me. Okay. Two more questions. So that was your last question. You're done. Pressure's off. 
So now you've got to see if they'll give you some. All right. Who was the first American to walk on the moon? Was it James Lovell? Lavelle? One of those names. Lovell. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Neil Armstrong or Michael Collins? Apparently that's Lovell. Bill's helping us. Lovell, Neil. Aldrin, Armstrong, or Collins? Neil Armstrong. Yeah, I knew that one too. Oops, sorry. <laughs> on July 20th, 1969, while on Apollo 11, hopefully, mission, <laughs> Neil Armstrong <laughs> became the first person to walk on the moon. Another member of the Apollo 11 mission, Edwin Aldrin Jr., watched as Armstrong touch down on the lunar module Eagle into the sea of tranquility. Interesting stuff. Last question. What if we, we go into overtime? No, there's no more questions, really. Oh, you do. Yes. Sorry. What happens snowball. if we all get two snowballs? I, I don't know yet. Okay. Okay. Which president was just... related by either blood or marriage to 11? 11. Eleven. Just like in the last question, 11. Other presidents. John Quincy Adams. Benjamin Harrison. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Or John Kennedy. I'm not listening to the cameraman. The camera crew is trying to help our contestants. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm gonna go with John Quincy Adams. Nope. Are you kidding me? It was Roosevelt. No. Holly. Yep. No. Roosevelt, I'm not about Roosevelt was related no. by either blood or marriage to eleven other presidents. Happy birthday. John Adams. Thank you. John Quincy Adams. Ulysses S. Grant. William Henry Harrison. Benjamin Harrison. James Madison. Theodore Roosevelt. William Taft. Zachary Taylor, Martin Van Buren, and George Washington. And he was the 32nd president. Pretty cool, huh? All right, what's the tally? What do Jamie we got? Jamie wins. Three. You have three, you have? Three. Three, and oh, Kelly has none, zero. She did get some right, though, but that is why this game is so great, because if you get them wrong, you lose them. All right, so you win, and now we have a short story by me. Now, something that kind of drives me nuts is grocery store the self checkout things I don't know if you guys have you guys Stop ever been to the self checkout Stop uh, so the problem oh, with yeah. self checkouts is you're responsible for yourself you know no one else is helping you out so there becomes problems like oh if something's supposed to be on sale and it's not on sale do I make the effort and go get someone to be like this is supposed to be on sale could you fix it or if you forget something in the checkout line and you left it there and you paid for it, do you go back and get it? So this is what happened to me. I bought this really cool little prize, you know, and I was in the self-checkout line. And, and what bothers me about self-checkout lines is that the people behind you don't wait until your groceries are all packed up. No. They start. They yeah. start and all your groceries are there. So this guy was there and I was like packing up my stuff and I got all the way home. And actually this morning figured out that I had no prize. So I said, what do I do? And I said, well, my mom, what does your mom always tell you? The best present comes from, from the, heart. the heart. Yeah, and I thought, best present from the heart. Well, I love monkeys, right? Yes. And I don't have a we monkey to give you. <laughs> so I thought, what do monkeys love? Bananas. Bananas. So okay. I got you a banana. And it's a nice banana, actually. I picked out the nicest one of the bundle because, you know, some of them are not as nice. Yeah. It's pretty fresh. <laughs> Okay. So I thought you'd like the banana. Thank you. You're welcome. You have Richie crying. Thank you. <laughs> so everyone, Jamie won. Jamie gets a banana, which is healthy, by the way, and good for you. And you guys Thank did you. a fabulous job. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So congratulations. But now it's time to go back to Amanda because we all love Amanda and we want to have her on TV as often as possible. And she has a really fun activity for us. So Amanda, let's see what you got. All right. Hey, everybody. It's me again. Um, I have a new group of kids with me. We have John, Ashley, Richie, Melissa, and Chris with me today. And we are going to play a really fun game called Sink or Float. So what we're going to do is we have a couple objects up here. And we're going to test them one by one to see if they sink or if they float when we put them into water right here. I have a bucket. And we're going to test them all out and see if they sink or float when we go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an object, and then each kid is going to tell me whether they think it's going to sink or float, and then we're going to test it out, all right? So our first object that we're going to start with is this little monkey, little decoration. I'm guessing it came from Holly because she loves monkeys, so I'm sure it's somewhere around her apartment. 
So what do you think, Chris? Sink or float? Sink. Melissa? Float. Sink. It's going to fly. Fly? Well, That's not wings. an option. It's got wings. <laughs> it does have wings, but what do you think it's going to do when it goes in water? Sink. Sink? I think it's going to float. Float? All right. Ready? Let's test it out. I win. Uh, I guess sink. sink I won. Form. Look, it's oh. floating. Okay, now we're going to reach in. Oh, oh that water is cold. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the next object we're going to test is this bottle of paint. What do you think? Is there anything in there? Yes. Float? Float? Float. Float. Sink. 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 All right. <laughs> so we have half the table saying sink, half saying float. Let's test it. Oh, it's floating. It's Very good, this half on. of the table. <laughs> Very nice. I still Very win. Nice. All right, so this next object that we have is a pin. It's beautiful. What do you think? Sink or float? It's gonna float. Float? Float. 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 That's what it says float. What do you think, Ash? Float. Float? Float. float. Sink. Float. Float. Uh, float. Float. Sink. <laughs> All right, let's test it out. Uh, oh, I, oh, I, I sunk. Everybody was wrong. wrong. I technically won because I said sink eventually. <laughs> Three times I was wrong. All I right. just want to point that out. Yeah. Three oh, times. The next object yeah. we have is a hair Three clip. Three times. Oh, yeah, what do you think, Chris? Sink or float? Float. Float? Float. Float. You guys like float, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Ash? It's going to sink. Sink? Sink. All right. So we have another half the table and another half the table. Half the table. Da, 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 da. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, that side of the table got it right this time. All right, we're going to have to drop this off later. All right, the next subject we have is a little chest. What do you think? Is there anything in there? No, there is nothing in there. I can open it up for you. It's it's a pretty chest. Sink. 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 All right, sink. Sink. Four sinks and a full. Well, it depends if you open it or not. All right, we'll try it closed and then we'll try it open. Ready? Yes. Oh, that's sunk. It's bubbly. And, and All right. it's open, it's going to sink. So what do you think? Yeah, if we I open think, it, yeah, it's what's, gonna what's, what's it going to do? Sink. sink again? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Oh, I was right again. Oh, yep. my God. It's All like right. the fish in my bowl. It's like the fish in my bowl. It sinks. I should have gotten warm oh, yeah, water. That's, that's a beautiful fish. It, it, it just All like, right. it dies. So that one was a sink. How about this bottle cap? Um, float. 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 Float, but then it's eventually going to sink. Float, yeah. All right, so all floats. Ah, they were all right. It's, it's all floating. Dun, dun, dun. All right, next, we have antibacterial lotion. What do we think? We're going to start from this side now. Sink. Sink. Sink? Sinky. It's going to sink it's, like a it's sink. It's going to make the water smell beautiful. Does the sun make a difference? <laughs> I'm not smelling it. I'm seeing how much is like out of it. Oh, there's not a lot of there's not a lot out of it. <laughs> I say float. Float? Float. Float. I say no. right. sink. The buoyancy counts here, people. This is very important. Let's see. It Ooh, oh, that's four times. Oh, 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 oh. Four I was surprised on that one. I thought that one was gonna sink. <laughs> Me too. Very but smart. I, I thought it, it was gonna, gonna make the water smell beautiful. <laughs> yeah, luckily it's not open, so we're okay oh, there. Can you open it? All right. Now this one, a battery. Maybe not the safest thing to put it in water, but we'll try it anyway. <laughs> what do you um, think? Sink or float? Sink and then an explosion. Sink yeah. and then an yeah, explosion. Gonna, okay. Explode. Hopefully, I'm the first thing we start around. Float. Float. Sink. Float. Sink. Float. And then it's going to explode. Um, I just sink. Sink. Well, it's going to like make it's electrocute fire. the water. Okay. It's it's gonna gonna you think it's going to electrocute the water? Or you think it's going to be okay? I think it'll be okay. If it elect if it had to, it would have to have wires if it was going to electrocute the water. Still Ready? Ready? I saw Oh, it sank! I was right. surprised. Yeah. I thought that yeah, one might sink. Right. Oh, jeez. Now I have to get it out. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 so my hand is stuck in the jar. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Next, we have a paper clip. Well, Hello. a binder clip, I guess they call them. Hello. Float? Float. 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 Sink. All right. I'm a lawnmower. All floats in a sink. Should I do it like this? Clip that way or with the clips together? I don't think clips one down, one up. Uh, one down, I, down. Want, I want them One down, down, one up. All right. We'll leave one down, one up. I was right. Oh, I was surprised on that one too. I thought you guys were wrong. First time I was right. That's, 
Wait, sec third. Let's yeah, try it this way. Let's try if we clip them both back. Ready? Nope, it sinks that way. <laughs> now we'll put them both forward. Oh, that water's so cold. Okay. Can I try? And that's the way. Maybe right, let's the try that way. Nope, they all sink. I was surprised on that one too. I thought that one was going to float. I was right. All right. That is cold. Yes, I know. I told you it was cold. All right. Hey, I a candle that. we have next. What do you guys think about this one? It's going to sink. Sink? It's going to sink and make the water smell pretty. Okay. Sink and make the water smell pretty? Float. 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 I'm with Stevie. It's oh, she sink. said sink? <laughs> All right. Ready? Oh. It floated. Very but it still water, right? make the water smell pretty. You're right. It is. Like, hey, the reason why it floated it is because there's like wind. air in there. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. cheating. There's air in there. Air in where? In the wrapper. The little bottom oh, part. you think that's it? Yeah. yeah. You think that's why it's floating? Yeah. Are we going to unwrap it? No, we're not going to unwrap it. It's we're going to leave it wrapped. Sorry. All right. You are wrong. The next option is a quarter. Oh, I know this one. I've done. What this do you think about school. a quarter, it's John? Gonna sink. It's sink. Gonna sink. Sink. I did this sink. in school. Sink. Sink all the way to the bottom. All right. We have all sinks all around. Let's try it. I've done that in school. Ooh, that was yeah. sick. Have you ever tried to get it to fall into a little cup? Yeah. My dad did that down the bottom, and that's how he made like fifty bucks a day. Yeah. We used to we used to have a game like that around here where you try to drop the coin in. Because when it drops, it goes in all different directions. And so we tried to drop it in and get it to land Ashley. in a cup. It's really hard. Ashley? <laughs> no bleeding. All right. Just our last object, my fingers are trying to prune me. All right. Our last object that we oh, have get, is a little thumbtack. So what do you think, Chris? Float. Float, Melissa? Float. Float. Sushi? Float. Sink. Sink? Yeah. Like John? I think it's going to sink. Sink? All right. That side of the table says float again. This side of the table says sink. Let's see how it goes. Yeah! yeah! Oh. No, 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 wait. It's coming up. It's coming up. No, it's not. <laughs> nope, it's hanging right down there. I was surprised with that one, too. I thought the ones are going to be right. Now we need to Very test nice. the mic. No, now we don't need to test the mic. Thank you. All right. Wait, Good job it. guessing, guys. Hey, can we test Hopefully the you guys were able... No, you guys are fine. Hopefully you guys were able to guess a couple, too. And hopefully you got some of them right, um, like some of these guys I over here. Banana. Back to you, Holly. Thanks, guys. That was really interesting. Actually, a couple of those I knew. I knew the, the, the hand gel because shampoo floats. I know shampoo floats. So I figured ham gel would do the same thing. The candle kind of surprised me a little, but I don't think the plastic wrapping had anything to do with it. Um, but that was really fun. Thank you very much. And um, that's an idea that we got from one of our late night shows that we like to watch. So um, next up, we're going to call out Nora Brown. Um, and I'm going to talk to her a little bit about who she is, what she does. So Nora's going to join me out here. Um, and we're going to learn all about Nora Brown. Come on out, Nora. Hello, dear. Sit right here and grab a mic. How are you doing? Good. Good? All right. We're going to let our friends exit the studio, and then Nora and I are going to chat a little. Okay. Nora, what did you think of that last segment? I liked it. Did you get a couple of them right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How old are you, Nora? I'm 11 years old. 11, huh? Wow. You make me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> How old do you think I am? 20. 20? Really? Thank you. <laughs> I'll be 25 this month. <laughs> I look like I'm 12. Only a year older than you. <laughs> All right, Nora, what did you do for New Year's? Um, well, my cousin slept over. Really? Yeah. Did you guys watch the draw, the draw, the ball drop? No. No? Did you stay up till midnight? No. No? Huh. We, we celebrated it at 7 o'clock. Oh, well, that's good. You're a little, 11 years old is a little young to be staying up till midnight anyways. I remember I used to stay up, and I, I would really try to stay up. My mom would let us all sleep on the floor, and I would really try to stay up for the ball to drop, and I would always fall asleep, and I'd wake up, and I was so mad because I didn't see it, but my mom would tape it so that I could watch it again. So that was really fun. I was sick on New Year's. It wasn't that fun, but I did watch the ball drop. All right, what was your New Year's resolution? Did you have one? Yeah, to not bite my nails. Oh, that's a good one. I used to, I probably still do that, but I used to do it a lot more. 
So I can see where you'd want to stop doing that. You know what that'll help with? So you don't ever get sick. Because that's how I get sick most of the time, I think. Because when I get nervous, I'm like, ugh. <sighs> All right. How long have you been coming to WCTV? Uh, I've been coming here for about a year. A year? What, what started you coming? Uh, motion bookworms. Oh, okay. That's fun. Um, what type of programs other than motion bookworms or even including bookworms have you worked on? What do you, what do, you do here? Um, video explorers and the summer programs and live shows like this. Oh, you're very quiet. <laughs> you got to yell at me. <laughs> loud. I know you guys like to be loud, so. All right, um, what do you like best about coming to WCTV? Um, I just like hanging out with all the kids here. You have a lot it's of fun. friends here? Yeah. Cool. All the kids are really nice, huh? Yeah. Very nice to each other. Everybody gets along. <sighs> All right. We're going to do this thing called Favorite 20. Okay. I'm going to list some things, and you're going to tell me what your favorite is of it. Okay? Okay. We're going to learn all about you. Okay. What is your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is cake batter. That sounds good. I don't think I've ever had that. All right. Talk louder. Okay. <laughs> We're not whispering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nora's shy sometimes. Okay, me too. She's my mini-me. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. That's good. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite topping to put on pizza? Cheese and bacon. Mm, bacon's good. I like bacon on thin crust pizza. Yeah. It tastes really good. Um, what's your favorite kind of juice? Um, I like Hawaiian punch. Ooh, I brought Hawaiian punch today. I'm smart. All right, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is dancing. What's your favorite sport to watch on TV? Um, baseball. Do you like the Red Sox? Yeah. Me too. All right, what's your favorite television show? You can name more than one if you want. I like Full House the best. Wow, that's an older one. Did you watch all the repeats? Yeah. That was around when I was your age, and I loved watching it. It was really fun. All right, what's your favorite movie? Mm, I like, this is hard. I like High School Musical. That's a good one. I love the Disney Channel. I think I'm one of the only 24-year-olds I know that really <laughs> loves the Disney Channel, but I do. It's great, especially Hannah Montana. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> um, what is your, who is your favorite actor or actress? Uh, I like Ashley Tisdale. Oh, and she is in High School Musical, right? Yeah. Okay. What about me? I'm an actress. Yeah. Not really. Only when I'm with you guys okay. on TV. Am I cooler than Ashley Tisdale? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> okay. Who's your favorite singer? Um, I like Hannah Montana. Me too. And you know how many people I drop that hint to? Like, I'm like, oh, I love Hannah Montana. I watch all the episodes, blah, blah, blah. Did I get the Hannah Montini, Mint Montini, my <laughs> Hannah Montana CD for Christmas? No. No. My mom goes, oh, I didn't know you really liked her. <sighs> oh, well. Who is your favorite teacher in school? Um, my favorite teacher is my science teacher, Miss Fascioni. Oh. What is she? You have her every day? Do you have science every day? Yeah. And you like that class? Do you like the class or just her? Both. Yeah? Good. <laughs> science is fun. And that's the next question. What's your favorite subject in school? Math and science. Good. It's good to be good at math. When you're little, you always think, oh, I'm not going to need this. You do. I especially need it in my work. <laughs> All right. Do you have a favorite video game? Uh, no. No? Do you play uh, video games yeah. at all? Yeah. Yeah. You play I them? like a lot of them. What one do you play most often? Brain Age. What is that? Brain Age. You like tease your brain with it. Oh. That's good. That sounds like an educational one at least. <laughs> My boyfriend plays all these ones where people are like playing football or you know wrestling, and I'm just thinking that that's not very helpful in the learning process. <laughs> but that's good. Brain brain age. Cool. 
All right. Next question. What is your favorite board game? Do kids play board games anymore? Yeah? Good. They're fun. Mm -hmm. I like to play Clue a lot. Clue? That's yeah. fun. Do you ever guess who it is? Yeah. I'm really bad at guessing. Yeah, me too. I'm always wrong. Yeah. But I like Colonel Mustard because <laughs> <laughs> that's who I am usually, you know, the little yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played that in a long time. Colonel Mustard did it in the kitchen with the <laughs> rope. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, what's your favorite book to read? I like to read like Mysteries and the Sisters Club is my favorite one. The sister is that like Babysitters? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do do they still have the little sister one? Well, I guess they didn't get rid of it. But are yeah. they making any new ones like yeah, Baby they Sisters? Are. Okay, I I read them when I was your age. They're still good. I'd probably still read them if I had time. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do on the weekend? I like to go skiing. Really? Yeah. I can't ski. I think I'd probably hurt myself. <laughs> like, I'd fall. I can't, I can't walk, nonetheless. <laughs> ski. <laughs> so are you good at it? When did you learn? Um, when I was two. Oh. Awesome. I've, nev I've never skied. I just don't think it would. I've snow tubed. That's fun. Do you yeah. like snow tubing? Yeah, I like that one. I'm not much for the cold weather, although I would like some snow. So that's why we kind of put everything around snow today. Because <laughs> I hear it might snow on Monday. Martin Luther King Day. Okay, what's your favorite thing to do in the summer? I like to go swimming in my pool. You have a pool? Yeah. Oh, wow. I always wanted a pool. I didn't have one. But we used to go to the neighbor's house and swim in their pool. <laughs> do a lot of your neighbors come over? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta find the one kid in the neighborhood with a pool and make friends with them and then go in their pool. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do in the winter besides skiing? Um, I like to go sledding. Sledding? Okay. Yeah. Do you like to make snowmen? Yeah. Me too. Favorite holiday of the year? Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas. Christmas is fun. Did you get a lot of good toys? Yeah. Or stuff? Yeah. Kids don't really get toys anymore, they get stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? What was your favorite thing? My pink iPod. Ooh, I have a white iPod. I've got one of the, I guess, older iPods now. It's an iPod Nano, but they're all new and fancy looking now, so mine looks old. Last one. What is your favorite fruit? Mm, I like strawberries. Ooh, those are good. They're good dipped in chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the point of eating fruit is probably to be healthy, <laughs> so... Usually you want to eat them. Or sugar. <laughs> I put them in sugar, too. So, well, that's your favorite 20, and now we know a lot more about you. Is there anything else you want to tell us about you? Any good stories you have to share? No. No? All right. Well, thank you for coming out. Okay. Thank and, um, you. That was Nora, everybody. We know a lot about Nora now. So, if you're getting ready for her, when's your birthday? April Fool's Day. Okay, so coming up for her birthday, we know what all her favorites are. So we're good. <laughs> all right, thank you, Nora. We have Alicia Sperons, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, coming out next. Alicia's going to chat with me, and we're going to actually do the same thing with Alicia. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. I haven't seen you in a, well, a few minutes now, but <laughs> in a month or two. All right, Alicia, how old are you? Eleven. Oh, you guys are the same age. What grade are you in? Fifth. Okay. Um, Alicia, what did you do for New Year's? Stayed up to watch the ball drop. Did you? Yep. It was fun. Did you watch all the people performing? No. No? So you just turned it on at midnight and watched the ball yeah. drop? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because there was some people performing before that, and I kind of watched them. But you know what I watched what? on the Disney Channel? They had like a bowling thing. And I watched that. They like bowled until midnight. It was rather exciting. It wasn't just little kids watching it. That was me. I was sick in <laughs> bed. Yeah. So did you have a New Year's resolution? No. No, me either. I decided this year I was resolving not to make any resolutions. Because if I make resolutions, I feel like I just don't. I end up like not doing it anyways. And then I feel bad because I resolved to do it. So I figured this way, I don't have to feel bad about not doing it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how long have you been coming to WCTV? How long have One you been? Year. A year. Yeah, because you do it through CARES, right? Yeah. So you started last summer. Um, 
we we kind of answered that question, so I don't really need to ask you what programs you've done in because you've done CARES. But what yeah. do you guys what do you guys do in CARES? Make newsletters. You guys had a you guys had a show in October that you did. Yeah. What what was your favorite part of that show? Um. You don't know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get to the favorites, and we're just going to ask you a couple, because we're getting a little later in our show. We had a lot to do today. Favorite ice cream? Um, cookie dough. Oh, that's good. Food? Hot dogs. Mmm, I like hot dogs. Topping to put on pizza? Cheese. Ooh, cheese is good. That's pretty much all you need is cheese. Your favorite juice? Um, Hawaiian punch. Oh, it's good. Your favorite sport? Red Sox. All right. What about favorite thing to do on the weekend? Um, shop. Shop? Yeah, I like to shop. What about in the winter? Um, don't really have. No? You like to play in the snow? Yeah. Okay. Me too. And we'll ask you the last one, who your favorite actress is? Um, Singer? Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, you did a song for us for the American Idol thing. Well, sorry to cut it short, but I guess we're running a little low on time. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? No. No? You're just happy to be here? Yep. Did you have fun today? Yep. Good. Well, guys, um, that's going to be it for today. We're going to wrap it up. Um, it was great having everybody here. We're getting late in the day, and we want to wrap up a little, but stay tuned. We're going to have this kind of program once a month, um, and then we'll run them throughout the month. So the kids are here. They're working hard. They're doing a great job, and they're going to be coming up with a lot of programs for everybody to watch. Um, if any of the kids want to come out now, we can pull the cameras out, camera people, and we'll show you who's been working all day. So everybody's coming on out. I'm going to stay seated so everybody kind of go around me because I can't stand up. I have a mic on. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So we actually had more than this. I don't know if a couple people left or they're just coming out late. But everybody today, it was great to see everybody. Yeah, great left. to have everyone out. Um, thank you for anyone who's been watching from home. It's been nice to have you and have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.